basically rebrand themselves when, as you said in the Obama deception, Obama is the maximum Wall Street puppet. So look, you've got two, you've got two polls now. You can either be a slave of the Koch brothers or you can be a slave of Soros. And I say break out of that with your own demands, which would be cancel these student loans, student loan amnesty, freeze it, debt moratorium, whatever you want to say. It's about $1 trillion of high interest debt that's now crushing the younger generation. If you want to get the campuses a activated for the first time in decades, student loan amnesty. Now, we've also got, as you mentioned, Bank of America and their, their group, right? They're doing fraud closures. Robo judges, robo cops, robo signers. Stop fraud closures. Do the Fraser Lemke Act. This is what uh, was actually raised in the Democratic primaries. An obligatory freeze on all foreclosures on a primary residence for five years or the duration of the. All right, depression. I want to comment on this, and then I want you to continue, because I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I've got the full spectrum of solutions here on the show for our viewers to really think, get outside the box, and decide what they think is the best idea. If we have 16.6 trillion that we know about given, and then over 11 trillion others, we're talking you know 27 trillion or so here, overall handed over to foreign banks. So it, it, if it's okay to give foreign banks that sold derivatives tens of trillions of taxpayer based, why not make the banks take a hit? As you said, they've already been paid off. All the mortgages don't amount up to the bailouts they've gotten. Exactly. Uh, but both, both good and bad. And, and most people aren't gonna wanna get rid of their mortgages. It's folks that are upside down. Uh, all of the student loans don't add up to this. So the point is, we've propped up these mega banks. You want to incentivize things. You write off people's debts. Now they're going to keep their full paycheck and actually fi uh, finance grassroots business. That would get the economy going. But the finance oligarchs don't want that. They want a depressed economy so they can come in and bring in their eugenics post-industrial world. I think that's absolutely right. The the uh, and, and remember the fraud closures are illegal because there's no more chain of custody of of who owns these properties, right? They fed them into this big database and they've never made the changes in the local county registry offices that they would have to make. So they come and they say, "Guess what? I own your house." You have to say, "Produce the note." And normally they can't produce the note, but there's a robo judge and a robo cop who are going to kick you out of your own house. If you throw an American family out on the street in a depression, you should go to Leavenworth. That's the bottom line. And I don't care about 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 any other. Well, I mean, Webster, you predicted in Obama deception that they would just bulldoze cities because you'd read their documents. Now they've already started to bulldoze one third of Detroit. These are houses sitting there, the but the bankers don't want to drive down housing values. They created a bubble. They don't want cheap housing. Instead of those houses going to people, they're bulldozing them. And, and, and that's the issue. They'd rather steal a house and bulldoze it than allow it to lower in price to actually house people. And so yep. none of these neocon fake conservatives can say, oh, you're a communist, you're a socialist, because you're saying don't throw people out. You start throwing everybody out of their houses. We've already got close to 50 million on food stamps. It's going to be road warrior. It's going to be rioting. It's going to be total collapse. End all the banker bailouts and welfare and actually do take care of the people at home instead of paying with tax money to bulldoze it. Very good. Exactly. The, and then the other thing, of course, is how do you pay for this stuff, right? If we say we don't want austerity cuts, you look at Greece, right? The Greeks have been cutting the budget, cutting, 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 and the deficit is getting bigger. Surprise. That's the way it works. You cut the budget, you get a bigger deficit because you're cutting down the only activity that, that remains. You're now, giving into the banker trap that they've done in over 100 third world countries. This is a stratagem. Now, the other, the other key point, the attack on the Federal Reserve, which I say is the nationalization of the Federal Reserve. Right now, the Federal Reserve is run by cliques of unelected, unaccountable bankers acting in secret. It's not enough to say down with Bernanke, get somebody else, because they got 20 others, and each one of them is worse than the one before. So that gets you nowhere. It's like getting rid of Mubarak and getting Tantawi. What, the, what have you gained? Nothing. It's actually worse, similar in Tunisia. But the Federal Reserve now... Bernanke could easily be forced to create a Main Street credit facility, right? You've been mentioning the multi-trillions, right? 25 trillion, 30 trillion, 40 trillion, we don't know, that they've given to banks in, since the depression began. Why don't we get one trillion in a Main Street credit facility? And that goes to states, states and groups of states who want to do what? 
rebuild their highway systems, rebuild their rail systems, build the Texas T-bone, right? Get get fast rail so you can go from uh, from Austin to San Antonio and Houston and, and other places. Build that into a nationwide network. Build the transcontinental and coastal and, uh, you know, down the Mississippi River. But wait, that's Back socialism. West. We got to give 27 no. trill to foreign banks and then watch it disappear. That's Abraham Lincoln. Come on. That's the transcontinental railroad. That's no, no, how the I, 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 I know. I'm being sarcastic. That's the Erie Canal. That's everything good that's ever been done to make this place Brooklyn work. Bridge. Uh, Brooklyn Bridge, I'm not so sure. But, uh, but the, the point Erie is, Canal. point is, Webster, I'm being sarcastic. Look, the point is, do we give the bailout money to the bankers or do we write off all their BS and invest in ourselves? Right. Obviously, your plan is better than their plan, which is total scorched earth. Now, I want to shift gears. We have, I mean, it was all over the news today. They admit global depression now. And again, you said no bomb deception. We were already in a depression three years ago. They've sure. lied about it. Where are we going on the current course if the world doesn't listen to the ideas that you've put forward and others have put forward as an alternative? How do you see them? Because we're seeing calls for Obama to, to step down, to not run again. Uh, where do you see all of this mess going? Well, I, um, I'm aware of, a, uh, of an interesting website that's in the process of being put together. It's called Primary Obama Now, and it reflects the fact that the Democratic Party seems to be pretty much uh, brain dead in the sense that they have not yet produced a, a fairly prominent uh, challenger in the Democratic primaries to, uh, to Obama. And if, if people want to take a look at it, it's called Primary Obama Now. The, the urgent thing is, and, and even uh, various left liberals themselves, Ralph Nader, and some others have said this. There's got to be a primary challenger to Obama from, to stop him from running wild because he's been selling out to Wall Street left and right. I mean, you look at... Well, he's clearly blackmailed. He isn't acting just like a political minion or a fellow traveler. He's acting like a panicked uh, gazelle running into Tiger's jaws. Right. But the, the model, therefore, is... Carter, right? So o Obama is going to have a very hard time getting getting reelected. There are reports that his strategy is based on extreme race. polarization, right? Including, as you say, race riots and, and uh, other things. Well, no, it's come you out. They've leaked the memos that their strategy, their gambit is racial division. My yeah. God, uh, this goes back to what he did with... Uh, his cousin, what Odinga, that you wrote about and others wrote about, where he wrote the letter saying, just cause riots if, if uh, you don't win the election in um, Kenya. Right. And, and the, so this, this is obviously the, the path that you don't want to take. So, I so mean, hold on, but we're almost out of time. How do you neutralize that, Webster? Well, again, to the extent that there's this mass ferment, you look at that thing in, in Wisconsin in February now, we have these these uh, marches, right? And these are these are spreading, right? They're going to be, there's one in Los Angeles, there's one in Boston. There, there are things like this starting up in many cities. They're everywhere. The, the big question is, what are they going to demand? What are they going to fight for? The one in New York seems to be turning in on itself, right? They got these people arrested crossing the stupid Brooklyn Bridge. I don't know why they wanted to go to Brooklyn. What's in Brooklyn? No, let me tell you they, the answer, Webster. That was staged. staged Their leaders the let them out there. The cops erected them on the bridge to block it so the Soros group would get all the attention. Right. So and now they're now they're at City Hall protesting that the people got arrested. So, again, what is it that you want is what people want to hear. And what you want, it's got to be something that expresses the needs of this entire society to survive. In other words, break the political power of Wall Street, make them pay for the depression and save the American people, their jobs, their homes and their living standards. And, and the methods, I think, are pretty much some of the ones that we've that well, we've said. So well, far. regardless, but, Webster, it's time to reverse it. Globalism is death. Our country is falling apart. The world is falling apart. This race to the bottom, you know, these Wall Street people have been too successful. They've destroyed so much of society. They are. And now, of course, we have to bear in mind, there's a conjunctural aspect. The crisis of the European banks is now extreme, right? The news That was my final point. Hold on. Let me bring that up to you. Here's a document cam shot, or I can hold this up for the camera right over here. If they give me that, uh, that shot. Cameron, David Cameron, the British Prime Minister, has come out and said, I'm not going to let England have a referendum on going under the euro. That's this banking governmental extraction fund, uh, this, this receivership system. He says, I don't care if you want a referendum, 85% or more, depending on the poll. I think we should stay in the euro. And they admit the euro is now this financial dictatorship. And I've heard Bloomberg, 
I've seen CNBC say it's terrible that democracies in Europe don't want this bailout. We'll just have to bring in a tyranny. I mean, I hear them now openly extolling tyranny. You got the floor. Two minutes, Webster. It, of course, the, the trick is that the British are not in the euro. They're working to destroy the euro, right? They, they want to have the British pound is supposed to be reborn like Frankenstein's monster and you know, walk like, like Dracula across the world. Uh, if you look at the news of the past weekend, it's that Greece doesn't meet the austerity targets because their deficit is growing. And again, that's been the case from Brüning in Germany to Schwarzenegger in California to Papandreou in Greece. Austerity doesn't work. It means the entire program of the Republican Party in the Congress, which is more and more genocidal austerity cuts against the American people. It just doesn't work. It, even in its own terms, they say, cut the, cut the budget and you'll balance the budget. You won't. You'll get a bigger deficit. So that's what Greece has now rediscovered for the 999th time. Today, the, the New York market was down 200 and some odd points. But if you look in the middle of that, Bank of America down significantly, I think 8%. Citibank down 8%. So what you're seeing is the second wave of the depression and the beginning of the third wave. The second wave is the European banking crisis, and that's going to roll on. Now, I put up on my uh, tarply.net website, I got a bunch of, of things for, the, for the, the things that the Europeans should not do. They should not do bailouts. Uh, but they should try to defend the euro because if they get broken up, it's like a convoy, right? If you have a wolf pack of zombie banks attacking the euro, uh, as, as long as they stay together, they have a certain chance of defending Well, sure. No, no, no. They're breaking up the euro to transfer it into a new pure corporate dictatorship. Right, to break it up and basically to loot them. Because the, the way it would work is the German mark would be driven up so high that the, the German export trade, which has been hanging on, would be completely destroyed. And all the other ones would be driven down into the center of the earth and they would have hyperinflation. So it would basically destroy all of them. What they've got to do is fight the speculators, ban credit default swaps, put in that uh, Wall Street sales tax or Tobin tax, the 1% on financial speculation. They've got to raid the offices of those credit agencies, right? There's one guy, one judge in Italy has already done it. They need to basically get those those credit agencies because they're guilty of insider trading. That was written up in the in the U.S. financial papers a couple of weeks ago, right? That right before the U.S. downgrade, there was a huge amount of insider trading, obviously inspired by the ratings agencies. Of course, to, Webster, to, to it's downgrade. too incredible. You're absolutely right. We're going to talk to you again soon about this. Tarpley.net, Infowars.com, Prison Planet. Dot TV. Thank you so much for getting people Thank to really you, think. But I, but, but I think the final, the final equation tonight is don't be a useful dupe of George Soros, Al Gore, and the controlled corporate left. Wake up to what's really happening. And let me, let me congratulate you for the, for the idea of having some activism, right? To do these protests, do them at the Federal Reserve branches, do them at Bank of America, find the best tactical target, but go there with some demands that will really scare them. Not just that, you know, uh, we want freedom and